What's up guys, today I got a different kind of video for you today. Um, this is going to be more of a full length kind of squat video. So this first set is 95 pounds, it's just a warm up set, you know, to get things moving. Um, usually squatting feels awful, but honestly today it felt pretty good. Um, this warm up set, so yeah, there you go, that was 10 reps I think. So we're loading up 135 pounds now. Okay, here's the 135. I think I do it for 10 again. Um, again, everything feeling good, which is a surprise because I've had so many problems with my squat, but today it felt pretty good. So yeah, somewhat consistent tempo here. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And there's the rack. Now we're jumping up to 185. Here we go. One thing I notice about my squat is that I feel like my elbows flare out a little bit. Um, it's not the worst flaring I've ever seen, but it's definitely something I think I need to work on. I don't know if my bar position should be lower on my back maybe. That might be better. Um, I'm not sure how much that matters, but I think next time I squat, I'm going to maybe try to put the bar like an inch lower and just see how that feels. Um, maybe more on my rear delts as opposed to like the trap area. Um, so here's 225. I think this is a set of five. So you can see the reps slow down a little bit as I'm trying to brace more. Um, it's because this is, this is decent weight for me. It's not super heavy, but it's definitely like weight I need to focus on. But, you know, that was a pretty clean five reps, I think. Not super explosive, but not necessarily slow either. And then here I was decompressing. Uh, you know, I find squatting always feels better when I'm decompressing my spine. Usually I do it before, like earlier in the day, but uh, sometimes I just like to do it during the squat. It just helps it feel nice. So this is, what is this, 255, it looks like. And let's see it. Big breath. God, I do not look confident at all. <laughs> like, you can just tell by the way my, my body is, like, shaking. So that was one. That was a decent rep. And there's two. That one was a little slower, but still good depth. Solid. Somewhat smooth. Um, and, yeah, that was my top set for the day. After that, I just decided that I was going to rep out a bunch of reps of just bodyweight squats. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the channel, um, I think his name is Ivan Jurek. I don't know if I'm saying that right, sorry if I'm butchering it, but, you know, he, he's a pretty strong guy, and he does a lot of bodyweight squats, he, he thinks, you know, focusing on the fundamentals is really important, and I really haven't done enough bodyweight squats, and honestly, my legs felt a good pump after this one, I did, uh, four sets of 25, which again, is nothing crazy, but, you know, 100 good reps, um, and I think by the third set, my legs were, were fairly pumped. I think at the third set I actually felt worse than the fourth one. But, um, yeah, I, I actually really like doing this. I might do this more often. It's just a nice way to sort of end the workout. If you're having problems with your squat, I definitely recommend just repping out, you know, sets of, you know, 20 or 30 or 50 even. You could really do it, um. If you're really having trouble, um, you just feel good. It just feels good, good in the quad. It feels good to get a burn in the quads. Uh, um, and honestly, like, you know, I think people look down on calisthenics a lot. But honestly, squatting is my worst lift. And I feel like this honestly felt like quality work despite it being no weight. So, yeah, if you're having trouble with your squat, definitely... Definitely just go out and just rep out a bunch of bodyweight squats. That's that's going to help you out. It's going to keep your, you know, tendons and ligaments healthy. It's going to help you practice form. And, you know, you're going to get a good pump. So definitely, definitely try that out if you're having trouble. If you want to see more fitness skits, songs, vlogs, and other videos, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on TikTok.